Hello again. I'm here with another example of Better Terrain, the plugin for Godot. See the other video for a more detailed overview, but this is uh, about a more specific use case that I've seen asked about quite a lot. So here I have a tile map. I have three atlases. There's a uh, grass, which is your standard 47 tile corners and edges tile set. Uh, there's sand, which is the same thing, that's brown instead of green. Apologies if you're colorblind, these are kind of similar. And black, which is just a single tile that's black. So the question is, how can we design this tile set and this tile set so that they both combine together and that they don't uh, bleed into the edge of the world? So what I'm meaning is... Um, Say we have a level, I'm just going to draw this by hand. Uh, this can be a very small level. We want, you know, this kind of tile set here. Ooh, did I didn't, is that right? Yeah, that looks about right. So in this case, there's a very, very small level. We can put some black tiles in the middle. We've got the level here, but it doesn't, it doesn't uh, match around the edge to the empty area. So, for example, what we don't want to see is something like this uh, along the top and around the sides because then it, it looks very strange from uh, the point of view of the game when it's running. You sort of expect the edge of the level to be out of bounds. So how can we set that up? Well, it's, it's pretty easy to do, but it takes a little bit of thinking. These uh, tile sets are i to find one exact tile. Here it is. These tile sets are basically a combination of two situations. One situation is where there's a, a an edge next to a part that's in the level. And the other situation is where there's a corner, like this. Uh, usually that would have joining parts like that. So it's really just edges and corners. So when we think about it that way, it's pretty easy to generate a... Uh, working set of rules. So I'm going to make two categories. One category I'm going to call blocks and I'm going to make that uh, purple, I think, dark purple. Okay, and I'm going to make another category called inside. And I'm going to make that uh, dark, or let's make it light blue. Okay. So inside is easy, it's just the black. So that black tile down here, that's the inside. Blocks is going to cover both the grass and sand tiles. So I'm going to make a grass tile, and it's going to be a type of block. I'm going to make it some ghastly green, so we can see it clearly. And I'm going to make a sand tile. That yellow is actually already perfect, so that's good. And it's going to be also a type of block. So. Uh, oops. These tiles are going to be grass tiles. All of these, that's easy peasy. And these tiles are going to be sand tiles. Just like that. There's a few other extra tiles. And that's the inside. So now I'm going to design a little level. At the moment everything's a bit mixed up, but that's okay. Okay, here's my level. Let me just turn the grid off so you can see it a bit clearer. So there, it's got some sand, grass, and the inside tiles. I haven't set up any rules, so at the moment it's all just all over the place. So let's think about it. Um, let's take an edge piece, for example. This edge, when does it want to use that tile? Well, it wants to use that tile when there's an inside tile next to it. That's really the only circumstance it needs to use that tile. And let's look at that corner piece, which was this one. When does it want to use this corner piece? Well, when there's an inside tile diagonally, but that's not a exclusively. It also needs to have similar block tiles orthogonally. So inside diagonally and blocks orthogonally. Now, I'm going to set this up for all of the tiles, both for grass and sand, which will take me a couple minutes. So I'm probably going to cut that out and we can see how it works.
Okay, that took me a couple of minutes, but I've set up all the edges and corners with the inside type and blocks around all the corners. So if you want to have a look at that, you can pause the video. Here's the inside type and here's the blocks. So that's uh, quite a compact tile set, so that isn't particularly easy to read. But let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to fill the, gla the grass in with the grass type, which should re uh, recalculate it all. Let's fill the top in. There we go. That looks good. And the bottom here as well. And I'll fill the sand in. I think this one's already recalculated. There we go. So now it doesn't connect to the edge of the level. It only connects to the inside blocks. So if I put an inside block here, we've got all our types along there. And the sand and the grass are connected together as if they're all one type. So that's how you can use categories and more unique matching rules that aren't quite so obvious to create really nice effects. So just to demonstrate, if I uh, draw more grass along here, it all comes out very plain. Now if I draw some blocks in there, easy peasy. It's all connecting up to the edge, just as you might want, I suppose. And I can even make some of it sand as well. Okay, hope this helps. Um, once again, I know these are pretty uh, chaotic, but if you spread out your tiles into simpler um, groups, it should be a little more obvious what's going on. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. All right, thanks very much.